Hey, welcome back, everybody, to the third generation wrestling podcast, three GW. Here, back again, talking wrestling. Got a big show this weekend, Bash in Berlin. We're gonna talk about our predictions for this big show. WWE going on the road yet again for another crowd, and in any time they go away, it's it's the crowd's always the best part of the show, in my opinion. So, real biggie, hey, Robbie Ambassador. How's it going, man? Have you recovered from that uh, that last uh, trying to laugh we did the other day? Yeah, man, I was recovered until I watched it back, and I just, <laughs> man, the the uh, the Asian gentleman and Bishop Jakes just gets me every time. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I wasn't ready. Like I was about to break when you broke. I was trying not to, and it just. It didn't work. <laughs> that just caught me off guard because, you know, I'm prepared <laughs> for the farts, right? Um, but then, you know, he was preaching so passionately and, and then in a different language. Yeah. I, I just had never, I don't know if I've ever heard preaching in a different language before, maybe Spanish. Uh, but it, that, that caught me off guard and that started the laughter right there. And then, like I said, Bishop Jake's getting down in the birthing position, pushing mm -hmm. it out. I, I I couldn't help it. I'm going to lose it every any time I see that. Yeah. I'm going to lose it. Well, good to see he hasn't lost that uh, that line, that famous line, pushing you out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He didn't ask anybody to get behind him this time, though. No, no. We, we gotta get some shirts out though to get, to get behind me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got well, this is a short card, thankfully only five matches, but you know WWE will stretch it out. To two and a half hours one way or another. Uh gonna kick it off here with the unholy union, uh Alba Fire and Aladon versus Yaka Belair and Jay Cargill for the women's tag team championships. Um now normally I would say this is in the bag and then and the sisters are gonna win. But I don't think that's the case here. I don't think they want to hot potato these titles because it loses the loses the that that flair of being champion, I guess. And, and this is Triple H's era, and he doesn't believe in short title reigns anyway. So somehow, some way, um, maybe even with uh, maybe hey, maybe a little dissension not between. Bianca and 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 uh, Jay necessarily. Maybe Naomi turns on them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to see the scissors break up or nothing like that. I'm not. I'm just saying. I just think there's a way that uh, the unholy union will retain, and uh, maybe we start to work our way towards Mania and putting Bianca and Jay back in singles competition. So that's my pick. Yeah, I, I agree with Triple H. I don't really like these short title reigns. I think it just cheapens the titles and those that hold them if you only hold it for a couple of weeks. I know everybody was shocked when Isla Dawn and um, Alba Fire won the titles, but they could use this rub. You know, we all know Bianca's a made woman. Uh, even Jade Cargill, it, it, because of what we know of her from AEW and then where she is now in WWE, you could say she's a made woman. So they don't really need it, but uh, the other two ladies do. And so I think a good title reign for them uh, is is a good thing. And so, yeah, for the same reasons you pretty much said, I agree that Alba Fire and Isla Dawn will retain. And it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good win for them. Like you kind of like what you just said, it means more of them to win than it would affect Bianca and, and Jay losing. So, yeah. All right. Another tag team match, a mixed tag team match, the newly formed terror twins, Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley going up against the new judgment day, Dominic Mysterio and Liv Morgan. Um, now Damien lost his title. Rhea was screwed out of her chance to win the title back. Um, but I, I, I don't think that, 
I don't know. I'm torn here. See, you think you go with 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 Rhea and and, and Priest winning. They end this feud and they can move on and do other things, which may be a good thing. However, if they lose, that means they're going to keep this thing going. And I think it runs the risk of getting played out if they do that. Um, even though Liv still has the title that Rhea wants. So, and I think Rhea will get it back from Liv eventually. That being said, I, I'm going to just go with my gut. I'm just going to say Liv and Dominic win. Lying, cheating, stealing their way to a win with Finn Balor's <laughs> help, probably. Yeah, man, you know what? I, I can see all of that. The Judgment Day is definitely going to be involved in the match, but I'm going to say that somehow, some way, Damian and Rhea win. I'm even going to predict that Liv will eat the pin uh, just because I, I think that's a way to build up more. I think we want to get back to Rhea versus Liv one on one. People want to see mommy with the title back. I think we're going to see that match again in the very near future. Bad blood, probably. Yeah. So, you know, what better way to get the crowd hot for that one than to have mommy pin live? So I think that's what will happen, and the Terror Twins will win somehow, some way. Sure. All right. Uh, now, wow, this makes perfect sense to have another match. No qualm. CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre. No problem. First one to me was 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 a banger. It was the best match on the card to me. Um, I know some people didn't like it, but I did. I enjoyed it. it people some people felt there was more story in the match than it was wrestling, but they were beating the hell out of each other. I don't know what people what they were watching. Yeah. Anyway, it's a strat match though. And was it Drew Drew McIntyre was involved in the last strat match they had? Carrying Cross. How did that turn out? So now, if I recall, this one has the stipulation that I remember from the old days. So they brought Stratman. that back. Yeah. Huh? They brought it back where you had to hit all four corners. Yes. Okay. Yes. So <sighs> okay, well that, that changes my opinion. Because the last time they did a strap match, it was just pinfall submission, and they were just Drew and Karen were just beating each other up, which was all right, but it the whole point of the strap was to hit all four corners. Anyway, I, I think this will be another good match. Um, now you're adding the brutality of a strap match, so no DQ. Um, probably have a lot of spots, and it, it may even get some well, some blood, you know. Um, but Punk lost last time. So I'm going to have to give him the nod this time because we got to get to the rubber match, which is going to be a bad blood, probably a hell in a cell or something like that. So CM Punk. Man, you took the words right out of my mouth. I, I don't think that whatever happens in this one, that it's the end of this feud. So the best way to keep it going is to have Punk get over this time. I actually thought Punk was going to get over last time. Shockingly, it was Drew. And so now it's CM Punk's turn. And yeah, and then I think finally... Uh, we will settle it all at Bad Blood in a Hell in the Cell. I, I, I took the words right out of my mouth. I'm pick, you did. I'm picking Punk. I mean, it's it's like you always said. You don't do Hell in the Cell. You can't have a pay-per-view for Hell in the Cell. I mean, you can, but now you're, like, forcing a feud to happen versus something that's been built up since January, and now it's finally come to a head. We, I mean, we don't even know. We've kind of forced predicting. I mean, it only makes sense to do it, but this is a perfect example of when you would use a Hell in the Cell match. Yeah. Exactly. Kevin Owens versus Cody Rhodes for the WWE Undisputed Championship. Um, you know, they're bringing back the old KO from NXT that we all love. They did all the, you know, he's a bigger guy, but he could do, he could jump off the top rope. He could, you know, flip, but he was also agile and strong too. Um, While I think this could be an epic match between these two, especially with KO with his style, and the crowd's going to eat this shit up. I mean, this. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, they're going to lose their minds over this one. Um, Cody's not losing. Cody's going to have this belt for prior till Mania. Let's just be real. <laughs> but it'll be a good match. It'll be a great match. We already talked about. I mean, it's been since Mania since he had it, but I don't foresee them changing any major title 
outside of America. So, or just with a quick storyline when it comes to Cody. Look how long it took him to get it. They're not going to have him drop it, you know, just like that. I mean, they, oh, you know, never know. I don't know. I know everything. I don't have a crystal ball, but it just doesn't make business sense to do it that way. So, Cody's going to retain. Man, I agree. Cody's going to hold on to it until Mania. But what I like about Cody's run is that even though I think most of these matches are predictable, he's wrestling against credible opponents that you know are going to put on a good match. Mm -hmm. Most of Cody's title defenses, I don't feel like any of them have been bad matches. They've all been pretty good against quality opponents. Solo. Oh, wait, what am I missing? Little... Who's that? Solo. That was kind of... Oh, okay. Yeah, Solo was probably in over his head uh, with that one. But but yeah, so that's a good point. But outside of that, I feel like, you know, AJ Styles, you know, now KO. You know, I, I like what Cody's doing with this title, but he is going to retain. He is going to have the title until Mania, but it will be an entertaining match. Yeah, for sure. And man, I saved this one for last because it has to be the main event based on where they are. And that's Randy Orton taking on the World Heavyweight Champion Gunta. Ring in a ride, Gunta. Excuse me. <laughs> for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, the, 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 another one that the crowd's going to lose their minds over. I hope they spread these two matches out because not that, that not that these foreign crowds lose energy. It's just, I mean, I don't know. America needs to step it up. Because well, where'd they go? France? Whole show. They never, never slowed down. France was off the chain. Match. Yeah, France was absolutely off the chain. Probably the wildest crowd I've seen since they were in Puerto Rico a couple of years ago. Puerto Rico so, off the chain too. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. It, it, I, what I do see is I do see a lot of the American crowds now singing Orton's theme. France started that, and now it, it's not nearly as loud as what France did. Not but nearly. That's what I was gonna it, say. It, it ain't cool nearly. Thing, <laughs> But yeah, come on, y'all. We got to step it up here. These these crowds overseas are showing us up, big time, big time. I mean, when they did the uh, press conference for SummerSlam, and Triple H came out and music playing. I think he was waiting. He thought the crowd was gonna sing the song again. I was waiting too. Nope. All right, y'all lame. But anyway, um, this will be a, a great match too. Randy Orton as I think he's like forty three or something like that, but still, I mean, dude's in great shape, mm -hmm. and uh, you no, know, he's been around the block for a while now, banged up, but I think he still have a, a hell of a match with, with Gunther, I mean, they'll probably exchange knife-edge chops, both these guys are going to have bloody chests, and there's going to be some RKO's, it's going to take more than one powerbomb to put our, to put Randy Orton down, and we also got to remember his little, his little partner in crime running around, too, mm -hmm. so, uh, it, it probably won't be clean because of that, and but Gunter will retain and remain the world heavyweight champion, and I think this will be another highlight event like we talked about backlash. This is going to be right there with that, and backlash in Puerto Rico too. So, yeah, as much as I would like to see Randy uh, move into second place on the all-time world title, uh. Rain holder, he would have 15. He'd be above Triple H and behind Cena and my goat, Ric Flair, if he were to win. But it's not going to happen. Gunther is going to retain. I think, I mean, the match is going to be entertaining. And I like the story. I don't know if that pin against Orton at, at the pay-per-view, and I, I, I can't remember exactly which one, where Gunther pinned him, but Randy's shoulders weren't down. I don't know if they were planning ahead or if that was something inadvertent that happened. But either way, I like that they're using it. It does an intrigue to the match. But look, man, at the end of the day, when a match is predictable, the only thing you can do to make it interesting is to, is to tell us a story, give us a reason why these two are fighting, and, and then give us a banger match. And I think it will do all of those things. But Gunther will retain. Right on, right on. Uh, thought about this the other day. A pay per view with no bloodline at all. No, 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 no. Jay Uso, no former bloodline, no solo, no 
new people. Uh, I got a funny clip. I, I hope I still have it, but I'm gonna show you when we get off of here because it's <laughs> Tommy Davidson. Uh, okay. Somebody um, took a clip from Tommy Davidson on an interview, and they put a caption of Roman Reigns when he ran to the new bloodline. <laughs> oh, okay, damn. I, I, I have to see it. I mean, it, it sounds yeah. like, okay, Tommy Davidson, Roman Reigns, how do they make that work? But I, I'm now I'm curious. I mean, it was, it was the interview had nothing to do with, with wrestling. They just took something he said, a sound bite. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm just curious yeah. to see, still see it, though. Yeah, so. All right, y'all. Let us know in the comments down below what you all think. I'm watching live Saturday. I don't even know what time it comes on. Probably like 11, I'm guessing, 11, 12. I want to say it's 11, 11, 30 Central Time, Central Time, Central Time, our time, uh, because it is in Germany, so there is a uh, time difference, a significant yeah. one. Okay. All right, y'all. Um, as we spoke about, check out that latest Trying to Laugh Challenge. Um, I'll be starting a new game. Uh, here shortly, the Ghost of Tsushima, mm -hmm. uh, Japanese sword, uh, swordsman game. So, never heard of it. We're getting into that. Uh, it's got it, it like won all these awards and stuff, and everybody raves about it. So, I was like, well, and I had it based on my account, it was free to download. So, I was, why not? Okay, sure, why not? Um, but yeah, uh, hit us up if you got any requests on third gen wrestling at gmail com. Uh, TikTok, it's the third gen wrestling po uh, podcast, I believe. Uh, those are the biggest ways to contact us. So leave a comment. Uh, I check all the comments. So uh, it's up to you. And yeah, so we got coming up uh, next week. We are getting back to movie reviews. We're doing a tribute to uh, MJ Book, as I posted about. Uh, a movie we never got to review before he passed was. Well, actually, you two are supposed to review it, not me. But I'm, I'm going to step in and do it. <laughs> uh, Batman and Robin. Yeah. Yeah. My and movie. to huh? probably most of you's shock and surprise, I have never seen this film. Oh, yeah, I've he's never seen it. I've heard everyone talk about how bad it is, so I stayed away from it, even though I do own it because I, I own the Batman collection of the Tim Burton Joe mm -hmm. Schumacher versions, right? And so, uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna gonna watch it. Yeah, not looking forward to it, but here we go. Get your drinks ready. <laughs> oh, oh, they'll be ready. <laughs> it's probably gonna be more of a roast than a review than anything. Yeah, they will be lined <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, but well, we will talk about it. Take care, everybody. We'll speak to y'all again soon. <laughs>